friends, my name is Louis Scovera. I'm the operations director here at Arapahoe Basin, responsible for lifts and slopes maintenance. Here today, uh, giving you a little tour of our newer terrain, opened the last couple of years, called the Beavers. So for those of you who have not been here, getting to the Beavers, you can get here a couple different ways. If you fly our Polivicini chair, uh, which most of you are familiar with, you unload that poly lift, you just go a little ways ahead to an area we call the West Wall Saddle. And from there, you can't miss the Davis Gate. Nice, cruisy road that leads you onto the Davis Run. Now, the neat thing about that Davis Road is it accesses a bunch of our gladed terrain. So out here we have two main groomers, Davis and Loafer, then we have a plethora of really cool gladed terrain. The northerly aspects so the nice cold snow, you access mainly off this Davis Road here. That'll get you into Thick and Thin, Bailey Brothers, Face Shot Gully, all of which are really neat tight tree runs uh, for when you feel comfortable enough getting into those zones. So one thing to know if you haven't been here to Arapahoe Basin, if you haven't skied out west at all, um, our, 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 our trail ratings, so green, blue, and black, that's pretty relative to every ski area. Davis and Loafer out here in the Beavers, our two blue runs, they're, they're the most challenging blue runs you're gonna find here at Arapahoe Basin. So you wanna make sure you feel comfortable with our terrain before heading out here. We'll take you first down Davis here, take a look at that run. Really cool run, pretty cruisy throughout a lot of it. Then we have some steeper technical pitches that, um, that definitely get your blood pumping. We're standing here right near Tower 4 towards the bottom of Davis and we just wanted to stop here, point out nice groomed run Davis here and then, then behind us here are the, what we call the dogwoods. So these are named after some of our first avalanche dogs here at Arapahoe Basin. We've got Digger, Jetta, Alex and Jaeger. They're all right behind me here. Uh, these are great steep gladed runs. There's days worth of exploring over here. What our, uh, our timber crew has done over the last couple of years, glading this terrain, has really opened it up. Our clearing program over there was really modest. In most places, we took five to 10% of the trees in these gladed stands. So in addition to that 5% of tree removal, we did quite a bit of limbing work in these gladed zones. So literally just going along and cutting the lower branches of de uh, the lower dead branches on these trees, it opens up the physical space. But what we're finding is, is the visual space is even more important. All right, so you feel pretty good with Davis and what we can access over here. We're gonna ski down to the bottom of the lift hop on and fly up and take you out onto Loafer. So from the summit area, from the top of Lenaway, or the unload of Zuma lifts, you head over towards our patrol headquarters and then go as if you're going to the Cornice Run, kind of on the old western edge of the, the main Arapahoe Basin. Um, and you'll see a turn off for Loafer. Off that Loafer Road, there are a couple cool options. You got Ptarmigan and Marmot, again, some of our gla gladed terrain. That's uh, really fun and flowy. And where you could drop off a little ways behind us into Beaver Bowl, nice open, fills in with snow all the time, really fun skiing. So we built a couple picnic decks out here. There's one off of Loafer, there's one off of Davis. Uh, you pick the right day. All of you who have been here know the kind of weather we have, especially in the spring, but really all year long. We get the sun and it's spectacular. It doesn't matter how cool it is. You're gonna have a lovely day. Anyways, grab your friends, pack a lunch, and enjoy these picnic decks. Off the right shoulder here, so skiers left of Loafer. It's what we call the sea pod. There are several more gladed runs out that way, and they're a little bit more manageable. So if you're newer to gladed terrain, Poke into Glockenspiel Glade, the first one off of Loafer. Um, it's really mellow and low angle to start with, but again, you're in the trees where we've done that timber work in that limbing. So it's a good way to get your feet wet in the gladed terrain. So again, you've seen the upper pitch of Loafer. Things change a little bit up ahead here, as you're gonna see. Uh, loafer starts to drop away on you. It gets quite a bit steeper and bankier. Uh, as you're skiing down, pay attention either side. A little lower down, we've got some sneaks cut in to some other gladed trails, Hawk and Drummond namely, which are a little shorter, but they are fun and steep and, and well gladed again. Those trails and most of the sea pot are gonna lead you to what we call the bald spot. It's a really cool section of terrain, steep, technical, rocky. It requires a short hike back, uh, five, 10 minutes back to the lift. It's worth the time on the right day. 
Okay friends, hey thanks a lot for tagging along in this installment of Mountain Tours. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the beavers uh, and it gives you some ideas of where to explore your next trip up here to the legend. Make sure you pay attention to our website. We're gonna be doing a few more installments of this series to familiarize you with our terrain and our offerings. And hey, the next time you're here, look us up. We'd love to show off our work out here in the beavers. Hope to see you all soon.